Welcome to the Process Model Training Series. This is video 7 of 11 basic videos. In this video, you will learn why representing variability is critical to your modeling success and how to quickly turn raw data into useful distributions. First, what do I mean by variability? Let's use an example as it relates to process model to answer the question. If I recorded instances of how long it took to process something, I could document the times. A histogram helps me to understand the data and to show the probability of getting a range of time. I could then estimate how long it would take to perform the task in the future by using the probability and the range of time from the histogram. Although this is doable, it's difficult to set up in the software. Rather than using a histogram, an easier to use representation of the data would be a distribution, a formula that approximates the probability of getting a specific value. A data value is picked off the curve per the probability of the distribution. With the introduction above, I can explain why representing variability is critical to understanding a system. The real problem is not just variability, but also the effect of having two or more variable activities linked to each other. To show the principle, let's develop the simplest system possible. People entering a queue, then being processed at a single server. If the server works faster than the arrival rate, no queue would form. The distribution for arrival is an average of every minute, according to an exponential distribution. It would be as if a bus arrived and several people entered the line quickly. Then between buses, a single person would be dropped off, but that happens less often. The processing time averages less than a minute, according to a normal distribution. A small percentage approach the desk having already completed the ticketing online and are released quickly. Another small percentage require additional attention and take longer to process. The larger portion can be completed in less than a minute. Systems like these are often planned with the averages because we haven't had an easy method of representing the real data or we didn't understand the importance of variability. If averages were used to represent the rate of arrivals and the processing time, we might, in error, conclude that our customers won't wait in line. What if we use the real variability, describing the arrival rate and time for processing? Would it make any difference? Or would the difference be significant enough to merit the additional analysis? Watching the simulation for a short time will show that there will be real problems because of the variability. Using averages, we thought the waiting time would be close to zero. But you can see that people would wait significantly longer, some over an hour. On average, all people would wait close to 30 minutes Using averages, we estimated the number of people in line to be one. But when using variability, the simulation showed that it could be almost 70. Representing variability is critical to understanding the real behavior of your system. These distributions look to be important. How can I turn raw data into distributions? Process model contains a powerful tool to convert raw data into distributions. From the Tools menu, select StatFit. StatFit is a data analysis tool that converts raw data into distributions. StatFit can fit data to more than 30 distributions, representing most types of systems. To create a distribution using StatFit, copy and paste the data into the entry form. Select the Auto Fit button. Review the assumptions and, if correct, select OK. The distribution at the top of the list is the best fit, 
given the data you provided. Select any of the distributions to see how it fits the data. Your data is shown in blue. The distribution to fit the data is shown in red. To use the newly developed distribution in your model, select the Export button. Go back to Process Model and click on the field where the distribution will be used and paste the distribution. Every entity that processes at this activity will enter the capacity and select a time value using the probability distribution. What if you don't have data? For example, there is not system collected data, the system collected data is the wrong data, or the data is difficult to collect. Until you can obtain actual data, use estimates as a starting point. To estimate the processing time data, ask three questions. How long does it usually take? What's the fastest it's ever been done? What's the longest it's ever taken? With this data, you can create a triangular distribution. A triangular distribution is an easy and fast way to estimate the variability. Would you like to see more information on estimating distributions? See the training video titled Estimating Distributions When Data is Lacking. In this video, you've learned why representing variability is critical to your modeling success and how to quickly turn raw data into useful distributions. In the next video, you'll learn how things enter your model using arrivals.